Welcome to our show, Umbrellas of Hope. We are committed to enrich the life of members of the veteran and military community by connecting them to the resources that they need. We advocate for professional and entrepreneurial opportunities and facilitate conversations of hope, empowerment, and creativity. To reduce military and civilian transition difficulties and to help our veteran and entrepreneurs' families to strive. Hi, I'm Yorka, your host. We invite you to be part of this journey as we, together, bring a positive change on new beginnings, opportunity, and success. Our new mini series will be introducing the art of business to share with you how it can enhance your life, your community, and your future. to the Art of Business series by Umbrellas of Hope, a show dedicated to exploring the intersection of creativity and entrepreneurship. I'm Yurka, and I'm thrilled to be your host. Today, we're going to be talking about a very special collaboration between two organizations, Umedia.org and public libraries around the United States. Umedia.org is an organization that provides young people with access to digital media tools and spaces to create, while public libraries offer resources and support for lifelong learning. Together, they're creating a space where people of all ages can come to be created and pursue their passions. This collaboration is all about providing access to the tools, equipment, and space needed to be creative. It's about giving people the opportunity to explore their interests and develop new skills. On this series, we'll be talking to entrepreneurs and creatives who have used the passion and skill to build successful businesses. we also be exploring the importance of creativity in business and how it can lead to innovation and growth. But most importantly, we want to inspire you to pursue your passions and to show you that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. Hi. Hello. Hello. I forgot I'm holding a microphone now. So welcome to Umbrella Home. And we are here at U Media. U Media Space here in Miami, coming directly from Miami. And we are here because this is a very special place. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. A lot of people who come through here, I think that's their first impression when they see this place. It's kind of like a, a big playground of technology and stuff that you use for digital media. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I have come here since I discovered I've been visiting more than library than ever before. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear, because um, you know, I've run into people outside of the library. And they're like, I was wearing my uniform once, and they were like, "Oh, people still go to the library," and sometimes it's hard to explain that this exists inside the library, right? It's it's not in all the libraries, but this does exist, and the libraries are you know trying to become more modern, basically, you know, with the technology, incorporating technology now. So can you explain uh, what can it does? What, you know, we're talking about you media, so we're thinking media services or, or some kind. But what does it actually offer to people that want to come and use it? Free service, by the way, right? It's a public library. Yeah. So it's a, can you explain to us? Yeah, so it is a free service um, for the public. And we offer, workshops for teens and adults, at least in this location. 
for this location, we do the teens from 14 to 19 years old. And then, you know, older than 19 years old is considered adult. And what we do is we teach uh, subjects on digital media. So like photography, film production, music production, graphic design, 3D design. Um, we have 3D printers. We get the equipment to, you know, to teach those classes and for people to use that equipment inside our space and, you know, explore that technology. So you only workshops? No, it's not only workshops. So, so you're it's open to come in, you know, when we're not doing the workshops, you're free to come into the space um, during the hours that we're open for each, either the adults or for the teens and use the stuff that we got inside here. We have our computers that have uh, the Adobe software. So to, if you want to learn about Photoshop, about After Effects, you know, editing video, um, music. music, yeah, we got, we got a lot of instruments in here. You also have a soundproof uh, booth yes. that musicians can use to record their their best hit ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I mean, it's not only like, you don't have to be a professional also to learn to use the equipment. It's just, it's for, for people to be introduced to, to, to this technology and see what it does, what they can do with it, right? Because, you know, sometimes you just, maybe, you know, like, you might have people who just want to explore a certain thing and see if they like it or not. Maybe they like it for like a week or a month, or maybe, and then they're like, okay, I want to try something else. And that's and that's cool, you could try something else here. Well, it's a place that it can inspire you to try different things. And, and that's that's a beautiful thing, because the more creative, creative that you allow yourself to be, um, the more that you can do, and you can find your passion. Yes, I agree. So that's a big part of it too, right? So th there's times where, let's say, like right now, right, we're recording something here inside here, and let's say somebody else were to walk in, and they'll be like, oh, they just they just see the lights set up and the cameras, and like, what's going on, right? So then that might be that might spark something in their brain, like, oh, I've always wanted to maybe learn something about that, something about film production, whether it be the lighting, the cameras, the audio, you know. So like for example. Somebody that wants to uh, do a music, you know, they're a musician, and they want to somehow with the audio, they want to be able to record the song, they want to do a short clip to promote the services. Right. They can even do all that here? Yes, they can do all that here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they want to learn how to design, like let's say some type of graphic, you know, that used to promote their their song or you know whatever it may be a, a fly create a flyer or something like that to promote their event we could show them how to do that we give them the tools you know and teach them and you have to be an artist just the only artist no, no so you can be a teenager that have a business idea right. and you can come here and use the services learn how to maybe use some digital services like uh, premiere editing photoshop and get started Exactly. Yeah. So you don't have to be an artist, right? You don't have to be an artist. You, anybody, just, just curious, right? Just gotta want to explore what we have in here. Entrepreneur. We we do have. I know in at North Dade at our location in North Dade Regional Library, um, there are some entrepreneur teens that are there, and they like come up with like T-shirt designs, and we over there they have equipment where they can. You know, try it out. They have the heat press and see what it looks like on one of their shirts. The teens bring their own shirts, right? Because you know we have a limit, limited amount of um, shirts. They bring their own shirts, and then if they just want to use the heat press, then they can. So you can actually test out your ideas, right. validate your ideas. Right. You you can test it out there, you know, and and we have our instructors who are you know every instructor has a different background. Who are the, they're they're kind of like their forte. Um, and depending within the space, you know, if they're looking for somebody who has graphic design, you know, there's some people there to help them out with that and their design. So you actually can ask questions and actually get guided. Exactly. Okay, maybe you want to learn a little bit more, you have an idea, but you want to refine it, or you want to start from zero. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah, this might be cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the cool thing about um, at least working here as you know, as somebody who's teaching, um, you, we also get to learn a bunch of other stuff too. 
you know. So I came in here just learning about, I mean, just knowing more about audio and music. Um, I've always been kind of surrounded by people who are doing other stuff like the graphics, the video editing, the, the 3D effects and stuff that goes into video. Um, but I was never the one, you know, handling the camera. I was like, I don't know how to, you know, what, how do you set a camera up to, you know, to look nice a certain way. But if you ask me about audio, then yeah, I'm pretty good. But in here, you know, like you have to learn it. Like, you, like, you know, we have to learn it and, and you know, and it helps us grow and teach. Like as we teach, we're, we're learning too. And it, yeah, and you have so much equipment uh, that's actually literally thousands of dollars uh, that you can actually use to learn and to test your, your ideas before you go out and do a shopping spree that <laughs> now is sitting in the show because maybe you don't know how to try it out, so. Yes, you know. so we do we do get a, a lot of um, our patrons who come in, like let's say the, the workshop was on you know, audio. We're teaching something about microphones. And then we could give them suggestions on like depending on what they're trying to do at home, mm -hmm. what type of setup um, they might need for that. You know, they might think they might need like the most expensive microphone, you know, out there. Which I guess if you have the money and if you want to go for it, you can. But starting off, you know, just, just to try it out, you could try it out in here, right? You could try out the microphones we got in here and see the differences and then go out and buy it. Or we can give you suggestions as well. Yeah, you can use the space and the hours provided. You can pretty much start um, and even go beyond that. Yeah. Um, so where are you located? You know, we, we are in Miami right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have how many locations in Miami? So for U Media, we have four locations right now. We have the South Dade Regional Library, uh, Color Bay. And then we have the North Dade Regional Library in Miami Gardens. We got Lemon City in Lemon City. And we also got the Hialeah Gardens branch in Hialeah Gardens. So if you're visiting Miami, you know where to go. But if you're not in Miami, where else? Is there like any other states, any other cities that there's new media studios that people can use as well? Yes, there are. I don't know all of them. Right. <laughs> but I do know that you media started in Chicago. So for sure, there's one in Chicago. Um, to be honest, I don't know the rest of the places where they where they could probably be located at. But you could go to the website and at umedia.org. Yeah, and you can look it up all the different locations and which ones are closest to your uh, to your city. Yeah, and curious thing, it started in Chicago. Yes. right. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So from my understanding, it started in Chicago as a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Right, trying to get uh, mostly geared towards the youth, towards the teens, trying to get them off the streets. Right, so instead of them, you know, just not knowing what to do after school, um, they opened up this program with, inside the library, you know, somewhere safe where they could be and to learn about this, this type of stuff, type of equipment like, you know, editing videos, editing photos, taking photos, music. Um, and it's, so it's not like a typical classroom where you go in there and it's like, you got to be here at this time, you know, and you got homework or something like that. Um, no, it's, it's basically a place to learn and to hang out. It's a place, it can kind of build a community and it's a hang on kind of learning. Yes. That, I think that's something that is very, very valuable because sometimes we have the ideas, but we don't know how to conceptize it. Correct. Yeah, and so there they do go by the concept of homago. Have you heard of that? Uh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, so homago is H O M A G O. Uh -huh. So H O is the hangout, M A is mess around, and G O is geek out. So that's you know the yeah. I like that. Yeah, so that's basically if you think of that, that's the concept of your medium. Right. Today's uh, TED talk is on. The benefits of a colada every day. So, what are some of the services that people can do? Like you offer. That we offer. Um, I mean, we do photography, three D design, film production, music production, graphic design, 
podcasting. Um, yeah, I think that's video uh, editing, video. Video editing, so anything, basically anything that has. To, so when I say film production, anything that has to do with that, the editing, the recording, you know, all the so everything that goes into that. Video recording. So like now we get uh, people want to do, use a green screen. They can come here and they want to use a black screen. Yeah. As well, uh, you do three D printing. Yeah. You got something to show us? Yeah, yeah. So okay. I got some three D prints over here, mm -hmm. but we got like chess piece. Uh -huh. It was made by the 3D printers. We printed our full chess set too, that we have out here in the space and people can play. When they first see, when they first see it, you know, they don't know that it's 3D printed. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, we go up close, you could kind of tell. And what's the other ones that you have? So somebody yeah. can come here and design this, and All right, this is like a Groot. Yeah. Um, well, how many the children here. like this? <laughs> This one was actually designed in, in uh, by one of our instructors. So this is actually a little bit more rough than this one. So after we print it, there's some more work involved, right? Yeah. So after you 3D print uh, an object, not always, but I think it, what this one was cleaned up. Just get like a sandpaper. You could clean it up with a little knife. You got to clean it up at home. So you um, want to learn how to do this from beginning to end. You can actually come here and learn this. Yeah. This is awesome. And uh, and then if you want to play guitar, uh, learn how to play the drums, uh, come jam with your friends. I see that happening a, a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you hang out with your with musicians. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Like everybody just like, you know, if they see somebody playing, like feel free to hop in. Even, even if you don't know how to play, like, I'll, you know, we're here to like teach you. You know, if you want to learn something about playing, you know, a little bit about drums, guitar, bass, whatever it is. Play right. video games with your friends. Right, we got some video games. We got a PlayStation, an Xbox, so the Nintendo Switch. They want to, you know, because some of the teams, like I, like I was saying, they'll come in here and they want to just, like, hang out at first. You know, they, they come from school, and then they want to chill for a little bit, right? I think about school you know, homework so they'll play video games and then we also have the workshops there so if they want to join in on the workshops they can join in the workshops and one of the things that um, one of the advantages of being in a public uh, in a place like the library the library is considered to be one of the safest places ever mm -hmm. right so you can you know you're a parent you have a teenager you know they're hanging out at, at a place that's safe. Exactly, yeah. Yes. So that's invaluable as well. Yeah, I mean, um, apart from that, we um, for the teens, we do require registration. It's mm -hmm. free, because we don't gotta pay anything. It's just, you gotta have, make sure you're in the library system. Uh, we just, it's like an emergency contact information, you know, just, you know, just in case anything happens, you know. But nothing like that really happens here, so. Um, okay, and I was looking in the history, so I know you told me that it started in Chicago. <clears throat> yeah, it started as a project that became an experiment that it was completely successful. So <laughs> that's why here in Miami now, right? Yeah. And they have thousands of kids streaming directly from the library. Yeah. So can you tell us about some of the case studies that of actual people that came here and used the services? Uh, can you tell us some of the most successful? Um, I mean, the most successful that we've heard of um, that came from Chicago was a, a rapper. His name is Chance the Rapper. Mm -hmm. That he recorded his kind of like his demo writing, his demo over there in, inside the media. Um, he started off there, you know, using the sound booth, like you said, like you mentioned before, that we do have a sound booth in here that you can go and record their music, their ideas in there, and that's how you started, you know, just by using the, the equipment that we have here. Equipment that I know a lot of these teens might not have access to, right? Or maybe their parents cannot cannot pay, pay for that type of service, you know. Going to a studio could be expensive. Or buying the, even buying the equipment itself is expensive. Um, buying the, you know, we, we get some high quality mics, like, you know, actual studio that you'll see in studios and they're here to they could use it and record their music and 
and them being able to hear that, hear the difference between that and let's say like this type of mic, right? This, then, you know, that's pretty valuable to them and it probably, and it inspires them too. Yeah, inspire them to keep trying and keep going from there, right? Um, so what are the lessons that you learned so far working here? Lessons that I've learned? Yes. Um, as far as in like, at our all services, the people that come and use it, what I, what have you learned uh, that it kind of uh, goes along with the goal or the project? Um, what are the pros and the cons that you have learned about around the journey? Um, I mean, something. You know, I mean, the something that definitely that I've learned is that I don't know everything. And that's just, that's just, I, don't yeah. I don't think everybody knows everything. Um, so I mean, there there are times where you know maybe I don't know something, and and you know we'll learn together. Like so that doesn't matter. It's like you know we're here to learn together either way. Like there's been times where we're gonna three D print something, or they want to learn how some three D design on a certain software, and I might not be so you know. Fully, like I still don't have the full understanding of that um, program, but we'll go out online, like maybe look at a tutorial, and we'll learn together and I'll help them out. So I think for me, um, this is a place that you can allow yourself to have the curiosity of a child and be as creative as you can be. Yes. And explore that side of, that we all have. We all create it in some kind of way. Yeah. But sometimes we stifle that. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a place that you can just let the magic happen. Yeah. Definitely, that is one of the pros, right? Continue learning about all this new um, technology, basically, that's coming out. That's definitely a big pro, at least for me, that I've learned, like, you know, like, the technology from today, like prior a year from now, is going to completely change, and it's it's changing quick, and it's um, it's cool that I'm able to, you know, if this job, you know, basically requires me to be on top of that, right? So I get to always see what are the new things coming out, how can we innovate the space, um, yeah. Okay, and how old do you have to be to be here to be allowed to use the service? So we got uh, for teens, it's from 14 to 19 years old. Oh, how young? Yeah, how young? How young? Yeah, <laughs> 14 to 19 years old. And then, um, and, and then we also. And you say age limits, you're a hump that you can still come. Yeah, because it, it, during the adult hours. It's yeah. not like, like the Legos that as to how many you're going <laughs> to use it anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's not like that. You get to, you, you'll be wow. as old, well, yeah. And you can still come in here and learn some some stuff. Now, one of the things that I researched is maybe when you go um, to another Umedia, they might have different equipment. They might have different features. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So there might be some of our, um, at least the, the ones here in, in, in Miami, and we try to have similar equipment, but um, some of them might try out something first. So like like I was talking to you about North Dade where they, they have the heat press, you know, the two, two new shirts, and um, we don't have that here yet, right? So we, they, yeah. <laughs> so we see how I went over there. It was a good, a big success. So that will, you know, I'll order that new equipment for in here too. So you are unfortunately enough not to have a new media near you. How can you make it happen? How can you support the organization uh, to bring it close to you? Because this is needed pretty much everywhere. Right. I see we need to have uh, a younger than 14. You're seven years old. You can come out with your ideas. Yeah. And, and you need to find a, a safe place to be created. Yeah. Uh, so... How can we make that happen? I mean, I, you could also go to the Umedia website, like the original Umedia, the org website, and there's information on how how you can, if you wanted to, like support the organization, exactly, support the volunteer, exactly, or yeah. 
do yeah. some kind of donation there, or something. And like there's that. also like uh, we also like you were talking about younger than fourteen. We do have another um, branch. It's kind of they're still in the library system here in Miami called Yumi. Yumi. It's basically almost the same thing, except it's from eight years old and up. And there we only have two locations. We have one in Miami Beach and one in the Hammocks, West Kendall or West Kendall. Okay. And that's it for today's episode of the Art of Business by Umbrellas of Hope. We hope you enjoy learning about the collaboration between you media and public libraries around the United States. We believe that creativity and innovation are essential to the growth and success of any business, and we're sure to see organizations like you media and public libraries coming together to provide access to the tools and resources needed to be creative. Remember? Creativity is just a hobby. It's, it's an essential part of our humanity. And when we support each other's creativity, we create a better world for all of us. So go out there and create something amazing. And if you need a space to do it, check out your media and your, your local public library. You might just find the inspiration you've been looking for. to enjoy this journey in creativity with us. In today's world, where artificial intelligence, the internet of things, advancing science, and autonomous vehicles is our new normal, creativity has never been more important. This new mini-series of Umbrellas of Hope was created in order to inspire you and empower you by giving you the creative confidence to redesign the world around you to create new solutions that are invaluable for today's society. Powered by your vision, your own unique talents, and limited only by your imagination. Our world, our society, our future needs you. <laughs>